A person always doing his or her best becomes a natural leader by example. And when the exemplary skills are complemented by charisma and class, the bars are very high to match. Padma Sri Dr. Mohan Kameshwaran, the Managing Director and Senior Consultant of Madras ENT Research Foundation, is the first surgeon in South and Southeast Asia to have performed the auditory brainstem implant and the first pediatric brainstem implant in Asia. He is the first surgeon in Asia Pacific region to perform the totally implantable hearing device surgery. One of the pioneers of cochlear implant surgery in India, he has mentored and left his imprint in 32 centers in India and in seven centers overseas. And to people from Chennai, he's a go-to person for many of us here with any ENT problem. Thank you, sir, for being with us today. And I request you to address the gathering. Dr. Shanmur Nadin, sir, Kanagwali, madam, the two iconic figures for, and role models for all of us here. Their families, two heroes right in front of me, whom I've seen grow from literally their infancy as surgeons, Sababuji and Seka. Dr. Shiva Kumar and your family, my very good friends, Subo and Jay Kumar, the hero of the day, sitting quietly here behind me, special invitees, ladies and gentlemen, family members. First of all, I must say this is a very, very happy day for me. Tammin Tamakkal. The day that your student or your intellectual child overtakes you is uh, one of the happiest days in your life. And, and today is one such day. The first time I saw Vidya, I can still remember, because I knew, uh, you know, he is the son-in-law of Shekhar, so very, very, almost like a brother to me. Son of Shivakumar, who is again a very, very close friend. Shivakumar was very humble when he said, I am father of Vidya. But let me tell you that Vidya was very much Shivakumar's son for many, many years. <laughs> I am glad things are changing, Shivakumar. You know, I, and I expected a person with an attitude. That's what you normally get when, you know, your so-and-so son and so-and-so son-in-law. It's a huge attitude behind you. I'm sure many of the seniors will agree with me. But here I saw this gentleman who was humility personified and I was taken aback for a minute. I said, you know, th things are different. As uh, Subhu said, that was his, one of his defining qualities. And I think the other defining quality was his great zest for knowledge and skills, acquiring skills. He stood apart. As a mentor, uh, I'm not sure how much I've contributed to his career, but I, I certainly, let me tell you, it was a privilege mentoring him. You know, it was a real pleasure because you don't often remember. There's so many people go through you, but some of them stand out, and this person is one such person. In fact, I think he exemplified <coughs> the ideal student. I often give this as an example to many people, students. 2500 years ago, a gentleman in Tamil Nadu laid out the rules for an ideal student. Valiyar mun illar pol ekkatram katrar kallar arviladar. When a beggar stands in front of a king or, the, or a great billionaire asking for arms, how does he stand? He stoops, he bends, he bows his head and asks for his favor. That's the kind of student who bends in front of a man with knowledge, with all humility. He's a great scholar. A fellow doesn't do that, he says, dismiss the bus. That's it. So what a beautiful saying 2,500 years ago. And that's Vidya.
Vidya in short. Absolutely. His wife, Mrinalini, I think, you know, is actually literally Umay Urupadi. She is literally half of him. There is no doubt about it. And even here, in the hospital, when Vidya took me around, I could see where all, you know, Mrinalini has had her say. I can see here, yes. <laughs> could see the stamp here and there. She was very gracious. She said the architects who designed the Ganga Hospital, Curie, they also did this. I said, yes, but I'm pretty sure there was a person behind the architects driving them also, you know, and I could see that. Vidya is uh, taken up a very difficult challenge, but I'm very sure if anyone can do it, it'll be him. I'm pretty sure about it. This is a very difficult niche area. Because it's a comprehensive can uh, cent uh, care center for a very difficult and challenging problem. One of the most difficult. Don't forget, when we learn anatomy in, in medi medical school, half the time for anatomy goes for head and neck. The other half for goes for the rest of the body. It's not without reason. And, and that head and neck is the most complex religion. And uh, to be taking on challenges, you know, it's not easy and he has done that exactly. I would say Chennai is fortunate because there are not many cities in this country. I don't think even in Delhi I can recall a, a comprehensive center like this. So I think we are very lucky, Chennai citizens are lucky to have Vidya with us and, and this center for us. Finally Vidya, you know, I just have to tell you, uh, just be yourself, you know, you'll, you'll do great. I know when you're starting, you have all sorts of questions in your mind. I certainly did when I started my institution. And by the way, this is an institution, it's not a hospital. The reason I'm saying this is because of this room, you know, this auditorium. The moment you have an auditorium, it's no longer a hospital, it's an institution. So that's the difference. So you've got, you've got a great institution and I'm pretty sure you're the right person. Murti Parasaranda Kirti, automatic, you know, there's no doubt about it. You know, so he's got all the qualities for that. I'm reminded of uh, saying from Charles Dickens, Dombey and Son, and uh, I think that fits in very well for surgeons. Says uh, at one stage, Dombey tells his son, have a heart that never hardens, a temper that never wavers, and a hand that never hurts. And I think that goes extremely well for what a surgeon will be doing. With you all the best. I'm, you're a rising star. I'm going to see you go up and up and up. In my lifetime, I'll see you reach the highest of pinnacles. Thank you for asking me to be here. Today. A teacher takes a hand, opens a mind, and touches a heart. Dr. Mohan Kameshwaran has done just that with Dr. Vidyadharan. Wish you all the best, Dr. Vidyadharan.